Today we are going to take a look at the custom Windows image called Windows Experience, which highly resembles Windows XP user interface. This image is based on Windows 10, however it is modified in a way that it looks and feels like Windows XP. In this video I will go through installation of Windows Experience custom ISO in VMware Workstation. Then I will show you some functional and visual features that it offers and at the end of the video I I will talk about a few drawbacks of this specific custom Windows image. With that said, get subscribed, leave a like down below and let's get started. So before doing anything in VMware Workstation, we will need first to actually get the ISO file of this custom Windows image. So first you will need to go to this link, which I will also provide in video description down below. And on this website, you have two options to get the actual ISO image. Here you have download options and here you have direct link and down below you also have the torrent file, which in my opinion is much faster than the direct link. So once you got the actual ISO file, it should look something like this. So this is basically the folder which contains a few of the images and a few files as well and the actual ISO file. So let me show you this quickly. So this is the ISO file which we are going to install in VMware Workstation. Now, once we head to the VMware Workstation, on the left panel here, you can right click and select new virtual machine. Now here I will select typical, which is also recommended way of creating a brand new virtual machine. Here I will select next and I will select the installer disk image file and select browse here. Now we can go inside this folder and select this ISO file. Here, click open and then you can see that VMware Workstation actually detected Windows 10 64-bit. Now here I will select next and I will call this virtual machine Windows 10 experience. And the location will be to the browse now we can go here to the this PC, local disk C, and here I will create a brand new folder, which I will call it VM underscore experience. Press enter, and then we can click OK. Now this wizard will actually store this virtual machine inside this folder here. Now I will click next, and now I will also put maximum disk size to 30 gigabytes and I will also put this option here down below to this one. So store virtual disk as a single file. Now I will click next and now I will click finish. So as you can see, VMware Workstation actually successfully created this virtual machine. But before we start it, we can right click here on this virtual machine and select settings. I will go here to the options to the second tab and under the advanced, I will change firmware type to the BIOS. Here I will go back to hardware and change the memory to let's say four gigabytes. And here under the processors, I will select number of processors to one and number of cores per processor to four. Here I will press OK and let's power on this virtual machine. I will click yes here and let's full screen this window so we can see how this installer actually looks. And now I will go through the setup process of this Windows Experience custom ISO. Here I will leave everything to default and click next. Now I will click here install. I will accept the license terms and click next. Here I will select custom and here you can see that we have this virtual disk and the size is 30 gigabytes and here I will click next and this should install this custom ISO on this virtual machine. So this is actually how this desktop of this custom Windows experience looks like. I know that this wallpaper looks kind of low quality. Now if we go here to the start, let's click here on the run and let's see the version which we are currently on. So basically this apparently is 
Microsoft Windows XP Professional X64 Edition. We also have here the copyright from 1985 to 2006 and we are apparently Windows user. I almost forgot to mention but after the setup there was no initial setup so to enter my name or to check a few of the checkboxes like for the location and for the diagnostic data or something like that. So after the setup we went straight to this desktop like you see here. If I press OK here and navigate to the settings we will go here into the system and down below we have about options. So here down below you can clearly see that we are currently running on the Windows 10 and the version is basically 1809 and this version basically is a very very old version. I think it's at least two years old. This is kind of outdated Windows 10 version which is this custom ISO based on. Keep in mind that the latest one is the same as Windows 11. So 22H2 is the same for Windows 10 currently. And uh, now let's explore a few of the things. The one cool thing I found out about this custom image is how it masks Mozilla Firefox with Internet Explorer. So here at the bottom you can see that we have Internet Explorer. If I click on it you can see that it looks like Internet Explorer, right? But here on the top left, it says Mozilla Firefox. So for example, if I search for Google, press enter, it's the same. So this is basically Google. Now, if you go here to the help and click about Firefox, we can indeed see that this is Internet Explorer masked Mozilla Firefox, which I found quite interesting. So let's see what we have here in the start menu. So here we have this nostalgic Windows media player. So you can see how it looks like. So this is basically Windows XP media player. Now let's take a look at the Windows Movie Maker, which is also here. So all these old programs are here and hopefully also the games. So let's go here to all programs and and the games. Now here we can see, let's see, Minesweeper is here. It works just fine, which is quite amazing for this Windows 10 based custom image. If I on this desktop press right click, now we can go here to the properties and we can change, for example, the wallpaper here. But all these wallpapers look kind of low quality here. Maybe it's just this virtual machine or this custom Windows ISO. We also have this screensaver, for example, Windows Server 2003. Let's click preview. You can see how it actually looks like. Now appearance actually crashes this tab. But if you go here to the properties, once again, you can go here to the settings and change the resolution, I believe, and also the color. So we also can actually change the appearance of this custom image. So we will need to go here to the start and under the control panel, we will need to select change Luna theme. So this will open this menu here, as you see, and now we can change it to something else. For example, we can, let's say, select here seven and press enter. Now this will reapply all this styles and as you can see we already have the brand new look of this custom image. And now let's take a look of how much space this custom Windows image actually takes. So if I go here to my computer and here on the local disk C I will press right click and click the properties and now you can see how much space it actually uses. So 10 gigabytes, 10.8 uh, gigabytes to be more specific and we also have free 19 gigabytes. So this isn't that much in my opinion. Keep in mind that this is based on Windows 10 and on top of this is kind of a custom skin. So it looks like Windows XP and this only takes around 10.8 gigabytes of internal storage. Now let's take a look which programs are actually pre-installed in this custom Windows image. So if I go here to the start, let's go here to the control panel. Let's make this view by category and let's go to the uninstall a program. So here, as you can see, we have this taskbar tweaker. So if I go here to the system tray, you can see this program right here. And we also have apparently Explorer Patcher installed, Mozilla Firefox. We also have apparently OpenShell, Start is back plus plus. So these are all of the programs which are pre-installed in this custom Windows image. And now let's talk about a few 
drawbacks. The most important drawback is of course security. The key issue is Windows 10 version on which this custom Windows ISO is based on. A quick Google search will tell us that this version of Windows 10, so 1809, reached end of life on May 11th in 2021, so almost two years without updates already. I would only recommend daily driving this ISO if you are a huge Windows XP fan and if you are willing to sacrifice security for nostalgia and Windows XP looks. With that said, let me know in the comment section if you guys will daily drive this kind of custom Windows image on your system. All in all, this has been Tech Enthusiast video. If you enjoyed it, like and subscribe to the channel would really mean a lot to me. And you can also buy me a coffee on coffee.com, link in the video description. Have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.